Hey everyone, welcome aboard and experience this with me. This was my first time flying business. I've flown for over 20 years and I've always done economy. And this was with KLM and with service from Houston to Amsterdam. The configuration was one to one. That's the seat map. I was really excited about this one because I was able to get a window seat which I was able to do when I booked my flight. And I'm so glad I was able to reserve that on time and not waited because my flight was completely full. This is a cubby hole where you put your stuff. It was big enough. I don't use airlines headphones. I don't normally use mine. I love my own Bose headphones. The seat was a bit narrow width wise when it came to sleep. I found that out. Then, then I flew the Boeing 787. I'm an aviation geek. I love all the aircraft. And this is me sneaking in pictures because I was just so excited about everything. This is the amenity kit. I'm going to show you in a few seconds what was in it. But honestly, it was the same across the four flights I took. There were earbuds, mask, a pen, toothpaste, lotion, some gel, and a toothbrush. And the only difference was the color of the amenity kit itself. The leg room, my goodness, coming from economy as a tall girl, this was highly, highly appreciated for the 20 plus hours I was flying. So we were already pushing back and I was ready to just sit back and enjoy this flight. With KLM, you're given menus as soon as you're bored and as soon as you sit on your seat so that you can, you have time to choose what you want to eat or drink. And there was a variety, especially the alcohol and the drinks, but I don't drink when I'm flying. So I skipped that part and just went for the non-alcoholic part. Um, oh, by the way, this Airfly Pro thing works seamlessly. Get the Pro version, not the regular one. The seat, these knobs here, the controls are kind of weird. It's easy to bump on them with your elbow, but the control for the screen, the one I'm pointing at right now, it was perfect. There's a little light here if you want to use it to read or something or whatever you want to use it for. And then on the seat, there is seat belt, there's this padded thing. Does anybody know what this is? I'm, I'm very curious to find out. It was a bit uncomfortable though when you're lying down. Um, here's me. I was trying the tray table. You, you can move it back and forth like closer towards you or away from you you can open it to make it like bigger or smaller they had to restart the entire system because for some reason things were not working but anyway they gave us some peanuts man this was so good and then they had this little nice their silverware is so nice it had this intricate thing and then this star thing the flight attendant was like you can keep it i was like okay thank you <laughs> Then they served their soup that was delicious. Uh, the bread was delicious as usual. Um, and then I was looking for the little clogs, you know, the red, those ones, the, the salt and pepper shakers. They didn't have them. They had them in this little envelope. And I was like, why? Look at that intricacy. It was done by Marcel Wanders for KLM and it's so cute. We had turbulence. I mean, I could not even eat. I had to hold on to my dear life and my plate. I read somewhere, if you're nervous about turbulence and you have water in a glass like I'm showing you right here, you can see it's not really, really shaking. Turbulence, it just feels worse than it actually is. And if you see like the water is not spilling off, then you're, you're good, you're okay. But anyway, um, it ended up coming down and we ended up, I just ended up enjoying my meal. Clearly, I loved this one too much. Empty, whatever that was, I don't remember. Uh, I think this was a potato. That was really, really, really good. The next one, I didn't quite feel like it. And then this was, I think, warm apples. I didn't like that at all. They 
should have a variety of entertainment. You will not be bored. Movies, games, audio, TV shows. There's a lot to watch and there's a lot to cover you with entertaining you. The aviation geek in me was like, where are we? Oh, no, we're still in Cleveland or whatever we were. And we had six hours and 30 minutes to go. I was like, you know what? At this point, I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. Then I was like, oh no, my phone is dying. These controls are at the back of a seat and it's a bit inconveniencing, honestly, where they are. So I was not too happy about that. And then this was me trying to get the right angle to do this video for you all. <laughs> it is not easy doing these videos in such like a small space. The next meal, here we are again, more salad. I didn't care for the salad. I like this. I think this was pancakes. Yeah, this was pancakes. That was really good. And whatever this fruit thing was, that was good. By the way, this ginger shot, good. That was a good one. They give you these Delft houses and they have gin in them. No, don't drink the gin. And there's an app and they can tell you more about the houses. We arrived safely in Amsterdam and I decided to do some skincare duty-free shopping just to see what they have here. As a licensed nurse esthetician, I was curious. I wanted to see what kind of products they have, but I didn't buy anything. <laughs> I decided, let me go to the lounge and see. You know that clip that you always see on YouTube video and you tell yourself one day you're gonna be there? This is me. This is me on the escalator fulfilling my dream of flying business class and entering the KLM lounge. I am just, I was just excited to be here. And the lounge was full and you can do all these things. You can reach out, you can refresh, you can sleep, you can take a shower. I didn't have time for all that. I just wanted to explore. And this was like 9, 9.30 in the morning and it was already packed. It was so full. And this KLM lounge in Amsterdam is massive. It is massive. And the food again, variety, it's why they had breakfast, they had actual food, they had lunch. I mean, it was a variety. And if you've never been to the KLM lounge, if you've never flown business class, this food is free, FYI. So I decided to just, again, check some food. And then I decided to do some sightseeing, I mean, some flight seeing. And then we were already boarding for Nairobi. This was the Boeing 777. The configuration is 222. I didn't quite like it because you sit next to a stranger, but hey, I didn't care, okay? We're in business class, right? Right. We're gonna enjoy it. More leg room, wider body. I was more comfortable in this one for some reason. Again, I had some tea. You're given your menu. I had already chosen what I wanted. I didn't drink anything. Same cubby hole, no difference. A many ticket. The other one was white. This one is blue. And I'm gonna shut up so you can hear the takeoff of the Boeing engines. towers always a nice touch always the soup was fantastic they gave us salad again i didn't care for the salad they had some ravioli and this is how the ravioli looked like oh that chocolate was good the this is sorry this is how the ravioli looked like and before i knew we were already in Nairobi, we landed at night i didn't film that because it was too dark there's nothing to see i was just happy to see my family after such a long time if you've not been to nairobi welcome this is nairobi at night it's beautiful it's gorgeous absolutely love the flight would I fly KLM again? A hundred percent, yes, I would. Flight crew, I give them 10 out of 10. They were attentive, they were professional, they were kind. The food, I'm 50-50. I like some things, I did not like some things. The 787, the, it was a bit narrow when you're sleeping. Even one of the flight attendants was like, yeah, the 787 is narrow. However, the 777, wide body, that was way comfortable. When I got home, I realized my bags had a dent. Quickly wrote to KLM, sent them the photos. They sent me some money. Guaranteed it was not the full cost of the bag, but hey, they sent me something, okay? I'm appreciative. If you've reached here, thank you so much for staying with me. I am a small channel. I am trying to grow. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, share this video. I do have the return leg of this trip and I'm, um, I'll be posting that video soon and I hope to see you there. Thanks again and I'll see you later. Bye and safe travels.